Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. And as you guys can see by the title of today's video, we are going outside and we are finally beginning to give my exterior a whole makeover. In this video, what I really wanna do is just begin planning with you all um, my whole vision for the space, picking out some paint colors, swatching some things, and then hopefully towards the end of this video, we can begin painting. But as I go through everything, guys, please be sure to let me know what you like, what suggestions you have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and head outside so you guys can see what I'm working with on the exterior. All right, guys, so we are outside of my home and I just wanna walk you guys through the entire process. So let's take a quick overview. about the plan all right so if you've been watching my channel since the beginning you know that I have wanted to paint these bricks since day one yes the color has grown on me but I still want to do it and so what I'm planning to do is the lime washing technique I've looked into whether I should paint um, or lime wash but lime wash is just gonna be a lot better for the bricks it allows them to breathe and if I don't like the way it looks, I can pressure wash it off within seven days. So I have a couple samples and I'll show you guys those in a little bit. We'll swatch everything out here. But another thing we have to paint are the shutters and the trim. As you guys can see, um, the shutters are white and the trim is white. But a lot of like the original window panes are like that peachy color. So all of that needs to be redone. So we're gonna pick out paint colors for all of that stuff. And then one final thing I wanna do outside is a walkway. When you come up to my front porch area, there is no curb appeal. There's also no bushes here, you guys. So we're gonna be adding in some plants later. But yeah, I really want a walkway so people can have like a nice place to walk when they're coming up to the front door. I feel like that's super duper important, but I don't have one. I looked into costs for concrete and also I looked into costs for gravel and the concrete was over $4,000 for a little strip here. And the gravel, by the ton, it was very inexpensive. So I think I might do that option instead. That's the plan. And now let's go shop for these paint colors. Okay guys, so I think I narrowed down the trim colors. I think I want the trim to be white as well. So I have these options, white, weathered white, polar bear, and then ultra pure white. So I told you guys that I think I want the shutters to be gray. So I'm picking just a couple of different grays that I like that also go along with the trim color. So yeah. So for the front door, I'm thinking of something within the pink family or something within the blue family. So I picked out a lot of the colors that I just like in general. 
and I picked out a lot of different ones because it'll need to coordinate. Everything we pick today will need to coordinate with the brick color. So that'll be like the first thing to swatch and then I can take these home, kind of hold it up to the brick and see which one works the best. But yeah, what do you guys think about a blue door or a pink door? Let me know down in the comments. I just made it to a place where I'm gonna price out some of like the gravel and things that we talked about yesterday because doing the concrete I just think will be very, very expensive unless I find a better price. So here I am at this landscaping place. I see a lot of like really cool materials around and we're gonna take a look and see if I can find what I'm thinking in my head um, for a pretty good price. So let's go on in or let's see, like let's see. We just finished driving around the lot and looking at all like the different gravel and stuff they have available. They have so many options, but what I liked the best was the, I think he's called, it was called 89 gravel and it's not actually on the sheet. So I don't know how much that will cost. Gonna run in real quick to get the pricing on that. But everything here is sold by the ton. And he was saying I would need about one ton for my walkway. So, but I think I would get some extra because I want to do a little patio. So, yeah, so excited. I will say that this is a very successful mission. Um, and the gravel that I liked was only $44 a ton. So that is a really good price, you guys. So I just gotta firm up on my measurements. I might do those a little bit later and just see how much, how big, how deep, how long, how wide I would want the walkway to be. But yeah, I think that's a really good price. I wanna call your phone, tell you what you did wrong, then ask it to come over. Not very good with decisions, know what's right, but I don't listen, I don't, I don't. And I complain and dismiss it, then I keep on Okay guys, so I made it back home now and I bought some Romabio lime wash paint colors they're all here in this box so let's open these babies up and then we're gonna begin swatching like a little break because we had to come and get a mixer so that's why you guys we have not been able to do the swatches yet I thought I had one of these, but it disappeared somehow. So I got a different one so we can make a mix up the lime wash. But also I'm buying these cute little trees. I'm obsessed with these. I've always wanted some like this and I love that they're in the little circle shape. It's gonna make my porch look so whimsical and fun. They are called Topiary Eugenia and the price on these is $39. It's a little bit pricey. Um, but they're just so cute. So we are about to get these and roll out. The challenge might be getting these into Marcus's car because they are pretty. But we we can make it work.
because you need to wet it before you apply the solution. So I'm just gonna wet it down like that. And this first color is Bianca White. Now, you guys saw I have a big jug of this and that's because right when I first bought the house, it's okay, we're a mess. Right when I first bought the house, I thought that was the color I wanted to do. I just wanna do the brightest of the whites. But now I'm thinking I wanna do something a little bit more warm. But because we have it, swatching it anyway, I can't take it back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it. From the reviews I've read, they said to like soak up the brush. And it's best to do this with the brush from also the reviews that I read. So we're gonna see how this goes. Here goes something. just based off of pictures that I saw on their website. But again, gotta put it on the house and see what it looks like. I was just telling Marcus that I don't feel like I can go wrong with any three of these colors, but of course, it is getting dark outside and we'll check back in in the morning and see how these look. Good morning guys, it is the next day and as you guys can see it's super duper bright outside right now. Um, it's almost noon so I feel like this is the perfect time to look at the color and kind of see what it's looking like. So you guys know that this was like the brightest of the bright. I forget the name of this one but I'll pop it up here on the screen. I think it's um, Bianco. Yeah, this is Bianco. And so it looks very, very white in comparison to the other ones. And then next to it, we have, um, Avario, which is like a little bit more of a creamier white. You can just really tell that this one stands out so much more. And then finally down here, we have, um, Cristala. Now I told you guys yesterday that Cristala was my favorite just looking at the swatches online and even now I still feel like it's speaking to me this one I feel like it's just way too bright I feel like it's just way too bright and this one I don't know it's in between these two for me but you guys let me know what you think and of course we're gonna keep coming out here at different times of day but I just want to step back and give you guys another view So it's a little bit later in the day. I had a lot more time to just come out here and see how I like the swatches. So I know I don't like this one because it's just way too bright, I think, for what I'm going for. So it's really in between these two. Have my parents come over. They like this one the best. And then we took a drive around the block, Marcus and I. And I do think that while I really like this one, I'm also starting to feel this one a lot more too. This is such a tricky decision and I don't wanna rush it, but I went ahead and began like pairing up which tone of gray I like better for either one of these since I know this is completely out of the question. For whichever one of these I choose, I'm gonna do the trim in ultra pure white, so. And one of these will be my brick color. You guys have to let me know down in the comments what you all think, either Avario or Cristallo. Okay, with Ultra Pure White. 
And then for shutters, I really want to do the gray. So I was thinking gray cloth. If I went with Cristalo, this would be the color palette. Right, that's cute. Or this one, there might be a better shade that goes better with this. I'm not sure yet. Like that could be a nice vibe. I feel like out of all of these, I don't want to do a darker gray. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. So yeah, like if I did a Vario, one of these grays could possibly be the winner. Sheet gray looks nice with this one. What do you guys think about that? That looks cute, right? Sheet gray with ultra pure white and a Vario or Cristallo with ultra pure white and gray cloth. Maybe I should just do option one or option two just to make it easier. All right, so another thing you guys can give me your opinion on is the door color. I want to do either a pink door or a blue door. I'm super sold on either one of these ideas. And right now, if I had to pick a color, my heart is leaning towards pink. <laughs> Marcus is behind the camera like, ugh, shaking his head. I know, but this is where my heart is like leaning towards. So let me show you what each option looks like with like a pink or a blue door, okay? Okay. So it'll be one of these shades of pink. I'm not quite sure the shade yet, but we're just trying to like see if pink is gonna look good. Okay, all right. Now let's look at both options with the blue. All right guys, so you have to let me know down in the comments which option, one or two, but also in the comments right now, type in blue door or pink door. Like I said, I'm kind of leaning towards the pink right now, but of course I'm a fan of blue. So yeah, I, and then of course we'll finalize like which shade of blue, which shade of pink, you know, once we get these bigger decisions kind of finalized, but yeah. Marcus, you're behind the camera right now, but if you had to pick between option number one or option number two, what would you pick? Guess. You're gonna pick option number one. Guess what door color? You're gonna go for blue. Okay. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> but I like them both. I like them both. And I really don't feel like I can go wrong. I know some of y'all are probably looking at this and like, girl, these, these two are basically the same color but they're different. And I'll continue to show you guys what they look like in different lighting. But yeah, I am, I'm excited. That just looks so cute. Hey y'all, so it's been just about a couple of days later and I've still been sitting on like the choices for the brick color and the door color and all that stuff. But again, leave your comments down below. And so now my mind is shifting to like everything else that needs to be done. So I didn't talk to you guys about how all of this was going to happen. And pretty much I'll be doing, it, doing most of it on my own. So like lime washing the bricks all me i'm not hiring a painter for this project just because well to lime wash the bricks because i feel like it's going to be very costly but what i am going to look into hiring a painter for is like the fine-tuned details like the trim and like the window frame i feel like that might be a little too detailed um uh, especially because i don't have a paint sprayer if you guys watch all my kitchen videos then you know I tried my hand with the paint sprayer. It didn't work. I could try to buy a new one. Um, so that might be something I do. So all of that has to get done logistically. I have to figure out, you know, what I'm going to do about that. 
It's been raining nonstop here, so I haven't been able to get started on the bricks, unfortunately. It's a pretty day, but it's gonna rain later. And even though you can do like the lime washing as in a rainy condition, at least it says so on the can, that's not something that I would wanna do. So I'm just trying to wait until it dries up and it looks like it's gonna be clear this weekend. So I'll begin painting once I get more clarity on the brick color. Um, and then also you guys know that we went and found the gravel so that's exciting i need to go ahead and order that today but first i need to measure it so let's go ahead and measure it now and then we'll talk about what's next i just feel like there's so much to be done and you know this like this front porch of course like steps will be painted but there are these red like mosaic tiles here that I'll need to be painted too. I might paint this the same color as the shutters just like a light gray. Um, you guys let me know what you think about that but a lot of these tiles you can just like lift up. You can see that. I may have to regrout that whole thing so that's another thing that I'm adding to my checklist. It's just a lot like planning these projects it takes time it takes a lot of thought about how it's gonna go down and i want to think a lot about this because you know the outside of my home is the first thing that people see before they get inside so it's really really important but with that being said i am going to grab the tape measure so i can measure how long and how wide this walkway needs to be i got the measuring tape let's measure So let's go inside now because I'm burning and let's calculate the square foot footage and then we will call in the order. Okay guys, so I am back inside now looking at the sheet that I showed you guys when we went to look at all of the gravel and stuff. And so it's $44 a ton and then each ton is supposed to cover 72 square feet. So remember I said that I want to do, well it's like 30 feet, but I think just to be safe we'll say 32 feet. 32 feet. Um long and we're gonna do three and a half feet wide i feel like that's more than enough okay so we just have to multiply that to find the square footage in total it is 112 square feet for the walkway that I want to do up front. That means that I would need to get at least two tons instead of one. So we're looking more at like $88 for a gravel walkway, which still isn't a bad price. I just have to think about now how I'm going to keep it contained. So originally I wanted to do monkey grass on either side of the gravel. I thought that would look really cute. Um, and my parents have something similar at their home. I've also seen people do like stones on either side. I don't think I want to do that. I've also seen people put like a little like pavers along the way, like bricks, which that actually looks really cute too. I'm gonna look into the bricks. Cause the last thing I want is for the gravel to spill into the grass. Also, I was thinking about mulch versus pine straw. Now you guys know some of my accents outside are black, like the gutters and the, um, the lights and the frame around the front door, the screen door, they're all black. And so I was thinking about doing 
pine straw originally, but I thought, you know, the black mulch might really pop a little bit more. But then I also have so many bugs and things outside. They're attracted to the mulch way more than they are for the pine straw, right? And the last thing I want to do is attract bugs to my home. So I may have to go with the pine straw just to, you know, make sure I can come in the door at night. <laughs> Uh, but there's always bugs, so it's just Georgia, Georgia summer, a forested Georgia summer. So yeah, I I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Isn't it funny? You could not care. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys are understanding like my vision for my outdoor space. So quick update before we end, I want to tell you guys like what's happening next. I did get a chance to get a quote um, for painting the trim because remember I told you guys I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do that on my own or not. How come this quote was $5,000? Yes, you heard me right. And that's just to do the trim. I would still be doing the bricks, but it also included painting the sunroom, which is like almost the length of the entire house. So I, but still $5,000? No, I'm not doing that. So this project definitely will be DIY friendly um, because I'm gonna be doing most of it on my own, but I will be asking some of my family to come in and help me, especially with like planting the shrubs and things and um, doing the walkway, all that good stuff. You guys, please be sure to give me ideas for like what type of shrubs I should get on my front, um, flowers, just everything. Cause I want it to look super duper cute. And yeah, I'm really excited. So my next video, we're gonna go ahead and begin pressure washing. We're gonna begin painting. We're going to begin, hopefully I can get the delivery next week in the next video so we can start mapping out like the walkway. I'm just so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up comment down below and also please be sure to subscribe we hit 70,000 subscribers I'm so happy thank you guys so much for subbing it means the world to me it really really does and we're just we're going up from here y'all so I'll see you all in my next one bye guys